bless everyone, and welcome to our fourth God, Cupid, the Winged God. He has his titles on names and spellings and what he is God of. Enjoy. Welcome back, Owen. Now, God Cupid, his aspect is mainly shown as like a baby with arrows and wings. Now, as you can see, he's a little bit different than that of his counterpart, Greek counterpart, Eros, which we have done. And if you want to see that video, I have linked it below for more information. And Eros was basically primarily a god of love. Now, his festival is held every year on February 15th, which is basically that of Valentine's Day. Now, himself is portrayed as a baby with wings and a bow and arrow, and that's his um, classic image of him as Cupid. Now, again, for notification, um, You've probably seen that I put down two fathers. That is because of my calculation of research that I have done. These two kept coming up as his father. The main one was Mercury, which is messenger of the gods. If you think about it, Mercury had wings, such as Cupid. Um, but then again, Mars, which is a classic image, is that you always see Cupid with Mars and Venus. Uh, Venus being the mother of Rome and Mars being the father of Rome. And actually that, they had the birth of Cupid. That uh, is very debatable that uh, that whole child, that his father was actually Mercury or Mars. I would love to see what you guys think if you do your research on this. Anyhow, again, he is classified mainly seen as his father is uh, Mars. Now, that's about all I have for God Cupid. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and remember, no one person knows it all. God is blessed.